Hello, welcome to jasonchats.com. My name's Jason, this is my vlog, my diary, my online journal. I've got itchy nose. Anyway, today, mm, 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 today, I I just want to say right now, I feel a bit crappy. I feel really down. I don't, I kind of know why, but, you know, I sort of do know why, but at the same time, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm feeling not so good emotionally or physically I'm kind of okay apart from having to go to the toilet lots so there you go anyway I've as I woke up this morning what did I do yeah I had science I had my breakfast and then I thought you know, my hand is still hurting. And I had my right hand that I damaged on Thursday. And I'm thinking, well, it's Saturday. I've left it a couple of days. It's still hurting as much, if not possibly more, than it did yesterday. Because for some reason, I don't know why, but it's just, it was throbbing and, um, I can't move. I can move parts of the hand, but I can't move the whole hand. I can move a few of the fingers. And it's throbbing. It's throbbing now. And I just thought, you know, I might as well just go to the hospital. So that's what I did. Went to the hospital, to the action emergency. I didn't want to go there because this was self-inflicted. Uh, I didn't mean to break it, but it's still my own fault. And I didn't want to go to, I didn't want to use up NHS time, nurses time. Uh, I didn't have to see a doctor, it was basically just a nurse saw me, had an x-ray and everything. So it's still time used up that could have been used for someone more deserving than myself someone that had an injury that they didn't cause themselves. Uh, anyway, I, so I went there, I, I was in there for about just over two hours before I was seen by a nurse. The nurse took me in, gave me breakfast, and she took me in um, to a little room she just had a look at the, the hand and she started saying well can you move your finger can you move your thumb and then she stopped said well there's no point me asking you to move things um, you just need to have an x-ray it's quite funny she said even if I ask you to move stuff and you can move your fingers and everything you're still gonna send you to have an x-ray so you might as well just go and have an x-ray besides she could see that it was damaged because it was quite swollen um, so she sent me for an x-ray. There was no one waiting to have an x-ray at all. So I just went straight in. I only sat down for about a minute, two minutes before I was seen, had an x-ray. And by the time I walked back to where I'd originally walked from, the x-ray, the x-rays were on a computer screen with the nurse looking at them. So when I had the x-rays, it was uh, three different directions that they kind of, it's there, um, there, and then there, I don't know, there's like three different kind of angles. The, the, the. And so I had it x-rayed and that was quick. I always get worried about x-rays because 
if it's not harmful, why is everyone hiding in another room, looking through the glass at me being x-rayed? Uh, also, as I was waiting for the x-ray, it was embarrassing actually because when I went to the hospital, when I first walked in, I had to tell the receptionist why I was there, uh, you know, what, you know, I was there for my hand that I damaged, I thought was broken, and normal questions, who am I, um, can you put, please put some clothes on. You know, just general questions, next to kin. And um, she said, how did I do it? And I just, just had to be honest, I said, I punched her door. And uh, it was embarrassing, actually, that if nothing else stopped me from ever doing this again, it was that moment, I think because there's people behind me waiting that I'm sure heard what I said. I was trying to be quiet, but there was very much, very little talking going on in the waiting room. And I could hear pretty much what everyone else was saying when they were at the reception, and I wasn't even close to it. But I was listening, you know, really listening deeply. Um, didn't have any bugging devices or I wasn't holding up one of those like you know things where you hold up and you listen through the earphones nothing like that because that would have been strange and then policemen four policemen came in each with a prisoner or someone that was under arrest uh, one had handcuffs on another one didn't and that was a bit unusual hearing how the police were talking to their prisoners those quite, I don't know, it seemed quite disrespectful, actually. Unprofessional. But it's just, uh, I don't know, I had this idea. Uh, I guess I was brought up to feel that, to think this way, is that the police are morally higher than the general public. If somehow I'm a better class of person, I don't know if that sounds a bit weird, but like they've, I feel, I kind of feel that they should be professional pretty much at all times, regardless of what's happening. I understand they're only human beings, and it's easy for me to say this, I don't have to do it, but anyway, I. Yeah, it wound me up a little bit. One of the police was just there playing on a, on his phone, playing a game, some kind of mobile phone game. And I found that a bit... Mm, didn't seem like the right thing to be doing if you're guarding a prisoner. Oh, well. So I went and had my x-ray, got back, and it is indeed broken which is, I kind of knew that anyway, just the way it feels. And she showed me the x-ray and the, I forget what they call it, but this is what I've got. So I just taped those two fingers together. And I've got this brace on. And basically it's, it's not the, it's, it's there that's broken, just around that there. It's the meta castle or meta whatever. Whatever it is, it's, it's kind of the equivalent to what footballers get, uh, but on the hand. Basically, it's a boxer's, a boxer's break, I suppose. But um, so that's there, and also it's very tender, pretty much all, all the way around there. But it's particularly there. It's quite weird. She said, oh, that's where it is. And she pointed to it, and it's like, that's exactly where I feel it because she pointed on the x-ray, I said, yeah, because I can feel that the knuckle that should be there is now moved up. And that knuckle on that hand as well is also moved up there from when I broke it 24 years ago. 
So now both those knuckles are, have moved up, right, been like compressed into the bone, which is not good. So I've kind of got a break there, I guess. And the knuckles been broken into there. Yeah, so it's, a, it's a weird one. Anyway, it hurts. Uh, and I have to go to see the, go back to the fracture unit. Um, because there's a specialist there. I saw him when I broke my wrist as well. And what he does is just checks that I don't, checks that I'm okay, that it's healing. Although it's, I'm seeing him on Friday or Thursday or something, so it won't have done much healing. But I guess checking that it doesn't need any kind of operation. Regardless if it needs an operation, I ain't having an operation, so that's it. It's, it's my hand, it will heal. My ha I've hurt, I've damaged my hand hundreds of times over my life. Uh, only twice have I damaged it really badly, like, well, break, breaking wise, as far as I'm aware. But, um, yeah, that's, it's all right. But here we go, that's, that's my, this is me for, it's exactly the same brace as what I had on my wrist. But it was on my left wrist. I just chucked it away recently, actually. I should keep the collection. Maybe if I can get an ankle broken and and just move up around my body so I can just end up covered in this stuff. I'd be like a superhero. Eee. Um, but yeah, I wasn't feeling very good before I started doing this recording. I'm feeling a little bit better now. Actually, it's weird, isn't it? It's amazing what talking absolute crap can do. And uh, I am the king of crap, literally today. Oh, it's been like, a, you know those um, compost sprayers that are used on farms where the machine sprays a compost all over the, the farm, you know, all over the, the field. That's been my anus today compost sprayer it really oh terrible it's really bad I mean I actually feel sorry for the toilet I might have to buy a card some kind of greeting card just to apologize Maybe I'll eat some chocolates. I'll buy a box of chocolates and shit that out in it. <laughs> be like a little present. But, you know, I'll know it's chocolate. Or <laughs> originally chocolate. Ah, what am I talking about? So, I have done absolutely nothing regarding website, internet stuff today. And even though... I could go online now and do stuff. I can't be bothered. I've got no interest in it. Oh, what else happened? Here, here's what else happened. This morning, just before I went out, I decided to call up Sky and tell them that they need to, because my internet broke again last night, broke again this morning. And I told them, the person I spoke to, uh, you need to send someone here, not today, but you need to send someone here to fix my internet or I will cancel and the person who's a really nice bloke but he said no <laughs> basically they won't they refuse to come out until they know what's wrong with it so I ended up having to get a friend to help me because I can't do anything with his hand at the moment I can't use a screwdriver and I'm right handed and um, I can carry bags with my left hand but that's kind of the limitation uh, even wiping my arse and you know knitting and you know the, the important things I can't really do with my left hand it's uh, so yeah so it's a bit weird um this was originally white, but I had to wipe my ass quite a few times today. Ooh. No. 
so so I phoned Sky up and they said so I, they wanted me to take I ended up having to take two pictures of the socket I had to unscrew the socket where the internet goes into it you know the the hub thing goes in I had to get a friend borrow a friend's screwdriver and then he unscrewed it then I had to um, take another photograph then I had to plug in this thing that I borrowed off another neighbour microfilter into it because from their side my internet was working fine you know it's from my side that it's not working good so we opened up the box my friend opened up the box and he said there's loose screws inside the hole where the wires are which I think is a bit strange uh, so I've now got a microfilter plugged into a socket which is open so the lid's taken off and there's now an open bit where all the wires are so I've had to put tape over the hole to stop Andre from sort of trying to like get in there and scratching stuff and maybe injuring himself or causing havoc uh, so it's nice and protected plus he's, n he's so he's not used to there being anything there so he's probably not even noticed that there's a change but I just thought what and now the internet works fine which is good but I've now got a hole in my wall is I don't think I can really moan as I look around at the carpet and the destruction that Andre's you know done caused created he's ruined my carpet pretty much in every room but you know I wouldn't be without him so hey uh, but I just don't want a hole in the wall it just seems a bit weird I'm paying £40 a month for that and they said call back in three days to let us know how you're getting on so. but so far the internet's working absolutely fine so I've got no idea if it's a microfilter then clearly it's something needs to be changed here something's wrong with the the socket or something, isn't it? Surely, um, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, that's it, really. Nothing much else to say. Am I gonna go now? Thank you very much. Now, take care now. Yeah, that's it. Andre has been a bit naughty. He got very excited as I was getting dressed and getting ready to go out to the hospital and he thought he was going out for a walk but he wasn't. When I got home from the hospital I opened the front door and he ran out of the front door. He doesn't normally do that. So he must have heard me coming up the stairs and he, just, or he was just waiting and he just, like Hussein Bolt, bang, whew, trying to get down the stairs. I don't know what he thinks he's going to do, but I guess he's got some kind of plan in mind. But I managed to catch him. And in the end, I did take him out about nine o'clock, took him out for a walk. Uh, but then I brought him back and he started trying to get out the front door again. So it's a bit frustrating. I guess it's frustrating for him, but it's frustrating for me as well because I don't want him making that kind of noise at night, you know. Anyway, that's me. I'm probably not going to have a late night tonight. I'm probably going to go to bed for an hour or so. I'm very likely not going to do any work on the internet at all. Um, <laughs> this is really weird. I, know, I shouldn't really admit to this. But I... Um, about half an hour ago, or an hour ago, something like that. So I had the laptop, I opened it up, I went to a porn site, YouPorn, or something like that it's called. And 
I was like looking through the videos and stuff. I felt a bit horny today, I don't know why, but hey, it's very brief. Then I realized I can't actually do anything. I can't make a fist. I can't, I can't do anything. And I'm sorry, it doesn't feel like a stranger's doing it. It, it feels like, it does, yeah, I can't do left-handed. Um, too much information. <laughs> Way too much. I can't believe I just told you that. But yeah. A wanker's nightmare. I think this is called a wanker's nightmare. So um, I basically cock-blocked myself by punching the door. Not many people, people can say that. I cock blocked myself. So you take care of yourselves and I'm gonna go and I might do another one of these for my bowl. I feel a bit better having done this, I think. That's weird, what's going on there? That's all right. Just my bus pass. So you take care, and I'll see you next time. Um, check out my videos and websites and all that crap that I do, if you want. Yeah, I actually had an urge earlier to just get rid of everything. I haven't got rid of everything, and I'm not going to. But I had that little itch that little mm, you know so uh, I'm better off just going and laying down and staring at the ceiling and doing nothing than destroying all the work I've done so I'm really going now I would show you Andre but he's he's asleep somewhere and because he's asleep I'm gonna leave him because that's when I like him the most. See you later. This is Jason Newland. This is jasonchats.com. We'll visit again tomorrow. Mm. Bye.